everyone standing there outside downing side it's a bright and beautiful day today Anna and her natural habitat <laughs> guys some people were very enthusiastic about this book and recommended that i have to read it because it's fantastic and anna's mom loves this book and your uncle and my dad but anna doesn't <laughs> so anyway i bought it anyway and we're gonna see how it goes Such a pretty room. Wow. And there's the bathroom. So I'm in a student twin room, but the other student who was supposed to be in this room is no longer on this trip. So it's just me in this room. It's just been such a crazy few days before this trip. So Friday was Gurton Spring Ball and I was on the organizing committee. We've been preparing for the event from like nine months before, but obviously the last few days before the event was super busy and the entire Thursday we were awake. Plus on Friday morning, we all woke up at seven. The spring ball started at 9 p.m. and ended the next morning at 5 a.m. After which we cleaned up till 6 a.m. So basically I hadn't properly slept for over 48 hours by like Friday evening. Um, and, and Friday afternoon, my friend came from Oxford to visit me. So, and when she was here, we were just out all day, every day till like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So <laughs> we started this morning from Cambridge around 9 a.m. And now it's about 6 p.m. So the entire coach ride, I pretty much slept. Uh, I spoke to a couple of friends from back home for about two to three hours just to catch up because I haven't really been in touch with them for a while. And now we're in Cornwall. I'm going to go see what Anna and Kate are up to. Hello, oh, oh my god, your room is gorgeous! So pretty. Oh, it's a little bird poop on the window. <laughs> this is also just adds to the experience. Look at Anna looking aesthetically out of the window. And I match the room. Oh, I love it! I'm not gonna lie, guys, I feel like Earth Trip rooms are so nice. Like, overall. They are good, I liked um all of the ones that we've stayed at. like. Locranto was just different, but it was still cute. Cause... Yeah, yeah. I, just, I didn't appreciate the, um, the guests in the bathroom. Which guests in the bathroom? Spiders, the Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, who are we sharing it with? <laughs> Wildlife. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Ah, Kate unpacking has made me realise I forgot my PJs. <laughs> well, surprise. Yeah. It has been kind enough to give me one out of her three pairs of pyjamas. <laughs> Kate, you're just always prepared for anything. Oh, dinner time. Hi, you Kate. I'm not. Oh, my God. Watch Anna be completely drenched in like. Whoa. Looks like it's a bit more calm now. Gorgeous common room. Welcome to United Downs. Um, 
I'm Becky Paisley, I'm ex-Croatian geochemist, I promise Becky. Yes, um, for people who haven't seen Core before or haven't had to look at Core before, um, you read it like you would a book. So you go from left to right and then down down the page. And 1076, 1077, 1078. So Cornwall, brief history of Cornwall is, you know, it's a series of ocean basins. Um, and then they've been kind of crushed and extended over time. So you get uh, these huge fault structures that run across Cornwall. And I'm probably butchering the geology of Cornwall. So you, you'll probably learn a bit more on the trip. Um, so you've got these main structures, and when I say structures, we're talking faults, and they run kind of north-south, um, and then there's a set that runs east-west. So the east-west ones were uh, the historically mined, because uh, you see t copper and tin on, on most of those. Old mining site. Magnetite in, in mafic rocks such as these. Uh, we'll see magnetite in the alchemic rocks as well. Uh, next stop, I believe. Uh, and then as well in granites. I think my biggest accomplishment is remembering how to use my compass clinometer. <laughs> Some beautiful bronzite gleaming. Which of these are not mollusks? They're no. not mollusks, no. Oh. Oh, it's so weird. It's like early, early distant from mollusks. Oh, it's moving. It's an honor. It's like oh, a it's gone. <laughs> oh. It's really good. As things are being pulled apart, it's flowing. Mm. Yeah. Have you seen that before? Dog ice cream? No. <laughs> it's so cute. Peanut butter and banana. Cornish ice cream. Cat. Maybe that's why. Coast. The three C's we need. Oh, so cute. Hello. You're so cute. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, you're so It looks like a brand they will they will make it like IKEA, you know. They look so angry. Yeah, like look at their eyebrows. But this one looks nice. Yeah, yeah. The hammer head. He's that one's creepy. That's the sunfish. It's the sunfish. It's the sunfish. We should probably go. Made a flight to give you context from here to the Manager here at Punch Metals. Um, so that's part of our methodological test work is just proving that the way South Coffee oh, is the chocolate pirate. Uh, We're now at Carnbury. <laughs> <laughs> that's the entirety of the South Coffee um, the workings. that was like showing them how to get down. Wow, cow traffic. Sadly domesticated cows. Oh Wow, he's a pampered boy. Let's <laughs> <laughs> his little name tag. Oh, oh his bills. Oh, oh, so so hey. Girls, hit him up. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't want anyone to know. <laughs> He's trying to hide his responsibilities. Teddy? Teddy? Teddy, can I see your role in this hotel? There we go. It's the cutest houseman I've seen in my life. Petting up all sorts going on in the Laren Hotel. <laughs> my group and I gave a little presentation tonight and I'm calling it a super, super early night because I'm just so tired and I got my periods now and I'm just so ready to sleep. Beautiful green copper. Oh my god, it looks so good. 
looks like a so poseidon. Poseidon. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was possibly the most urgent toilet experience toilet I needed in my life. The lady said that the toilet is past the spa and Anna and I were just looking for a spa. But actually she meant like spa. <laughs> I just need to pronounce the R's. But anyway, now we're all satisfied on the lookout for lunch in this random town. Anna and I got a really cute rainbow cone. That's so funky. I know. We thought they might be extra, but she said but the same not, cost. But so. <laughs> mm. oh God, mood is so uplifted now. Yeah, rainbow cone. What more could you want? Honestly, all fueled and ready to go. Anyway. Yeah, and I was trying to decide between an iced mocha and ice cream, and she found a latte flavor. <laughs> Best of both worlds. Wow, they did get really far. This is a <laughs> yeah, always last. This is on a new level. <laughs> oh no, and then I got left behind. I'm sorry, Amai, we tried to see. <laughs> At least we're together, you know. Yeah, we're just trying to. We're just asking all the passerbys now if they've seen a group of people wearing hard hats. <laughs> And they're pointing us in the right direction. I hope we find them. Yeah, yeah literally. Uh, guys, we have no idea where we are. We think we see some of the um, people up there. Well, hats on. Yeah, mine's on. Want me to hold? I mean, I saw you inter interrupting the vlog. <sighs> oh gosh. Yeah, we just don't really understand why we have been left behind. Like, we could have just done a hard count and we a were, head count and we left. We were late. But I'm surprised they didn't like leave one of the demonstrators behind. We were literally like a few minutes late. We weren't even that late. Like at least like ma at at it best like, seven least, minutes late. No, it was at least ten minutes. I think. Okay, but like still, I, I, yeah, I think that, I think that's Mark up there. Maybe. Oh God, please let this be them. I'm gonna try and call someone. Oh, <sighs> we made okay, it back to the group, guys. Whew. They yeah, did come to look for us again, so we were not left behind. Aisha rescued us. Yeah, bless. <sighs> Anna and I just get the worst luck ever. Bogs getting left behind. <laughs> we have made it to our second accommodation. Booth. <laughs> Guys, I'm no longer alone. <laughs> My lovely roomies. Yay. This is such a cute. Oh, tiger. Oh. oh my god. When I was younger, I had a giant tiger fish to fall on my face in the middle of the night. I know. <laughs> Maybe do you want to take the other bed <laughs> to avoid some PTSD? <laughs> Yeah, I think Anna has the largest one. She's doing <laughs> I've done the mistake of wearing these. Can you hear them swishing about these waterproofs today? And they've been so hot the entire day, but oh well. <laughs> Kate sadly has a hole in her trousers. But and in room number two in both the hotels. Lucky number two. The sun looks so nice today. Looks like a yummy fruit, you know, in like in like Hindu what? mythology. No, oh, seriously. Like, the, <laughs> shining at you. There's like a there's like a monkey god called Hanuman in like Hindu mythology, and like as a kid he was so naughty that like he he wants to like go and eat the sun because it looks like a nice ripe mango, and I was like oh. relatable right there. <laughs> like, that is a mango that I want to eat. <laughs> Such a gorgeous sun. You know what? Sensation. Iris is putting on What? <laughs> Enlighten. <laughs> tell tell the viewers, Iris. <laughs> I actually don't mind. I actually don't mind the sensation of having sand in my socks. Really? Yeah. I feel like that's a hated experience. Yeah. In your socks? Hmm. I don't know, like, obviously I wouldn't want it like every day, but <laughs> I just, I'm just i not that averse to <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to start seasoning my socks. Like. <laughs> 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 I just feel like it's, it's really heated on the lot and it's not as uncomfortable as it's made up. Mm. I think it's especially, no, I don't like sand on my feet, especially if you have to put something that rubs up. 
on. Are you just asking for blisters? It's, is a ra it's abrasive. It's definitely getting edited out of the book. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's going to be the highlight. <laughs> I think pebbles are worse than sand, in my yeah, humble opinion. Yeah. That's, that's, that's that is a fair point. point. Yeah. I also feel like surely there's some good exfoliation or something. <laughs> it's fine if it's just a good thing. It comes from the sand. It's sad when you get some level of blister. Oh, that is that's where I draw the line. I feel like it's like pebbles. Like what? <laughs> Anna, no, you're just like the most unpopular opinion. <laughs> <in here. laughs> okay, let's let's give her let's give her a chance, guys. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, like in the shoe. <laughs> no, I used to say she doesn't mind sand in her shoes. I don't want sand or pebbles in my shoes. I'd rather pebbles easy to take out. Whereas the sound just gets everywhere and it's so mm, nice. That's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> anyway, guys, comment down below which camp you're in. Sand, pebble, or none. Dinner time. We don't talk about room. No, no, no. The next day, dead. dead. <laughs> he told me my throat would cut, just like he said. He told me all my hair would disappear. Now look at my hair. This one's pebbles. 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 And this one's dino. Oh. Dino. Dino, yeah. Oh, Dino's a bit sad. Pebbles is taking all the love. Well, she does. She's very dominant, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, Pepper, there's some cool tunnel we're walking through. <laughs> cool is a bit <laughs> I was being savage. <laughs> Currently, we're walking to a very famous outcrop. It's called the Millet. Oh, you guys! Look at that! Oh, that's insane! So where are we? Sure you guys are right Millic. Yes. Uh, we're at Millic Haven. So we're now crucially in the green uh, centre units. This is now we're into the cold basin for the first time. Oh. So there's lots of questions to ask here. Um, so uh, one, obviously we've got some spectacular folds. Uh, so you want to think about sort of the way out of the folds. You want to look at the way up structures uh, and you want to think about, uh, yeah, which way uh, the fold is, is facing. So first of all, you want to just figure out what minerals are there, what's the protolith, and do we see uh, sort of any metamorphic minerals? And what can we say about potentially the, the metamorphic facies or the structural level that you're looking at? And then we're going to sort of put it all into to regional context. Uh, so just for context, you can look out for these on the beach, uh, you won't see it in the outcrop. So, can everyone see there's little ammonite things in here? Oh! Everyone last year. I'll pass it around. Uh, so these are actually gonia types, oh. and they're quite important because they tell us that the setting we're in is marine. Um, so you're looking at uh, some sedimentary rocks which are deposited in a marine setting because they preserve these gonia type fossils. Incredible chevron folding. Okay guys, after a very, very satisfying analysis of the Chevron Falls, we are now hunting for some goniotite rocks so we can take it as a keepsake. Okay. May the best... Oh. Okay, may the best fossil hunter win. Guys, Joan is the clear winner here. Can I see? Like a bird. No way! That's crazy. I think Owen would. Owen loves me. Where did you find this? The floor. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Shavani. <laughs> Imagine asking Jonah for directions. <laughs> I'm <laughs> awful. I'm so bad. Ooh. Oh, these are quite wobbly. Whew. That was close. Anna, how do you feel about not finding a golden type? 
have our different levels of disappointment here. <laughs> this is a person who literally came on this field trip just for fossils, jeez. <laughs> Again, we have another five-ish days in Dorset, hopefully find some more fossils. If I don't get a giant ammonite, I'm not, well, I'm just not leaving. <laughs> 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 I'm like, leave it <laughs> Anna, how do you feel about this? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> We've never found a good fossil. Oh, I, I have. Oh. Speak for yourself, Shivani. <laughs> Guys, look how new she is. <laughs> so pretty. I know. It's pink. I need to clean it a little bit. I've got a toothbrush at home that I literally have just for cleaning rocks. <laughs> <laughs> That's Anna's pretty show. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit creepy. We're now at the beach. Yeah, all of our friends are in there now, and Anna and I have um, made, I think, the wise decision <laughs> to just paddle about and not head in because it's bloody, bloody cold. Okay. Iris and Dan said that this is tropical. So that really puts into context. <laughs> Hi guys, Anna and I are a bit tired and mentally confused. <laughs> We're supposed to be, what are we doing exactly? We're supposed to be measuring some folds and the visualization is just like really challenging. Oh, look at this guy. So cute. <laughs> Anyway, we're just a bit tired. This is what Shivani's doing instead of working, looking at the guys surfing. No. <laughs> We've taken some decent measurements, but it's just like, yeah. it's just a bit challenging to like visualize some stuff. But we'll get, we'll get there. Yeah. <sighs> but yeah, we're just sitting down munching on some chocolate now. And then we're going to... Yeah, yeah it's stuff. Okay. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we sound so cheerful. <laughs> Guys, we just took our first good measurement. Yay! Finally, after like what an hour of trying to understand how to do this. Yeah. Oh my god, bless. Anna just went, this is a vlog moment. <laughs> yeah, had to be recorded. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. Amazing. Fantastic. Yeah, we finally understand. This is tricky though, and like one of the demonstrators was just like, this is her least favorite, so like. I don't think it's like a, I don't think we're the only ones finding it difficult basically, but we're done. <laughs> In the time that we're here, the sun is basically almost setting now. <laughs> Look at Anna! Can I fit in with my hard hat? Becoming a cocoon. Meeting the other group. 